So if your goal is to get ahead of 99% of people in three months by leveraging the anti-fragile mental models that the top 1% use, this video is for you. So what is the concept of anti-fragility? This is by the renowned financial researcher and trader Nassim Taleb, who predicted the 2008 financial crisis, which basically took everybody by surprise. Now, if you actually want to leverage uncertainty into strength, then it's about becoming stronger from stress. So for instance, when you train at the gym, your muscle, if you don't push it too far, you give it some amount of stress. Now, it will get some micro fractures into the muscle. And when you eat protein through a process known as protein synthesis, the muscle will actually become stronger. So this is actually the concept that also applies what I call the digital renaissance age of AI. Now, many will get left behind, like we talked about on this channel, that become so static that you actually don't want to do anything. You're just going to lay back on the sofa because what's the point? There are all these multi-billion, trillion companies. Now, you really want to get out of that victim mindset and set yourself straight ahead towards greatness. So in this video, I'll break it down to you step by step on how you can do it. So of course, if you want to achieve your dreams amidst chaos, it's about embracing the 80-20 mental models that focus on the signal, not the noise. So a mental model is very important that you think about two things, sports and business, health and wealth. It's about making those moves that will make your mind clear by achieving athletic body. You can also sign up to the seven day course for seven elite habits. It's free, link is in the description. Now take that body, become a stronger and build a stronger mind. And then you can use that mindset to actually look clearly what are the small habits that you need to do in your career or start to build a side hustle that will earn you $7,000 in a month. Now, once you hit that targets of $7,000, why do I say that? Then that's a pretty solid goal that, all right, you got something here. You can jump ship, do your own thing if you want, or you can just have it as a nice side hustle because your boss doesn't have to know. And entrepreneurship, of course, is quite stressful. It's not for everyone, right? But it's the age of the hybrid lifestyle. So you can actually be like a pro athlete in your free time. You can have your career and you can have a nice side hustle. Keep an open mind, but stay focused on the signal, not the noise. So in this video, we're going to break it down step by step so you can do it too. So while we live in the age of relentless disruption, AI job insecurity, economic turmoil and health crisis, most will be left behind, trapped out of fear, chasing shiny objects and fight diets. So the alternative way is to look at the big picture and then break it down to very minute details. So it's about self-reliance, embrace the challenge. So no one will save you, right? And that's why you got to take ownership. So over the last four years, I built an online company with 25,000 customers broke the previous Muslim world record by doing less, not more. At the same time, I've also coached people in course and business. Now, how did I do it? By focusing on timeless principles to become the better version of you. So first, when we start with business, how can you even start building things? I started with my friends in an old horse stable. We have a game called Deceptive Reality. It's a cyberpunk game. And we had no background from building games like this or from entrepreneurship for that matter. So you could start with a group of friends or you can start alone, but it's very important to solve one small problem for a specific customer. So we, for instance, in the game, I put on my old banking suit when we had the prototype ready, then we made content about it. We went viral. We got half a million views on TikTok, and then we got up to $1,000 in revenue per day. I had a strong business case and was able to raise $350,000 in fundraise. At the same time, I also did online coaching and that was a very nice way of balancing things. So the margins are very profitable because you're doing the online coaching one-on-one and you bring a lot of value to the person on the other side. Maybe you want to do that Tim Ferriss style working on the beach or not. I like to sit in an office or at a desk. So if you want to get started, take one thing you do at work build a simple landing page, then you can write a copy of what they will actually get from it. And then you have a small booking button at the bottom of the page. Then you start making content. You pick one platform, like I like to do YouTube, one video per week, or for instance, Twitter, you stick to it for three months. You answer questions in the content and people will ask you probably more. And then you start really delving into the detail. Now, like the fun part, the fun stuff starts. So what's your problem? You ask them, what's their, your problem? What have you tried? How did it go and what does it cost you? How important is this for you to get 
fixed and when are you hoping to get this like problem solved so then you can send them for instance if they ask you like here in the youtube comments or on twitter you send a dm to them on twitter x like what's your solution you describe it in detail exactly like what they can do and then you can say that all right so here is actually the cost that how you would solve it and you explain that if they would work with you how long will it take intensive one-on-one -on -one coaching for a month you can do the same and then you can put a date when we start working on it so you schedule everything and ask them when do you want to get started and if they say no then you say that all right should we have a discovery call we can discuss in more detail and finally when you get that yes then you give them the payment link now congrats you have already your business here but before that you need the confidence right and that starts with an athletic body you want to build a bulletproof body and it's actually a lot simpler than people think like i've just done daily walks 10,000 steps a lot of push-ups pull-ups and with this frame i went from around 20 percent body fat to five percent body fat in three months i broke the official muscle up record here in finland where i'm from and now i actually unofficially broken the previous muscle up world record so that's why you want to start with this very simple task daily push-ups that will give you mental resilience go reps close to failure at 15 repetitions because this is where we know that it will actually break down the muscle tissue the best now you want to make sure that you have some kpis like how many push-ups can you do what's your goal we have seen studies that when you can do over 40 push-ups you have a 96 percent drop in getting a stroke or having heart issues compared to those that could do less than 10 push-ups so the idea is here very simple and for instance vo2 max that's how good your conditioning is and these parameters you want to optimize for them because we've seen several times that if you have great vo2 max you will have a much higher chance of living a long healthy life then set your goals and deep work in the morning will allow you to perform your best so when we look at the 80 20 health map it's about the intersection of body business and mind so you want to embrace health and wealth principles to 5x your productivity and over the long haul because you can automate so many things it's 10x so again set your targets for the push-ups monthly revenue when you're seven thousand dollars that's like the big key milestone but perhaps you want to start from 100 bucks then mental resilience and clarity you want to have one moment in the day where you do eight deep breaths and a yoga moment i do this every day and that's like the biggest change in my life now really it's about combining health and wealth it's about breaking down things together don't do one before the other like really get like the health and wealth in check maybe you don't have too much time maybe you have less time and that's why you're watching this content because i am telling you like you don't need much like if the president of your country finds time to work out you should too and that's why like the great investor Howard Mark says that there's a huge intersection between sports and business and also for instance my president in my country Alexander Stubb he always talks about that one day of sports per day will give you two hours of productivity so that's like very important now you don't want a six pack you want health you don't want more you want clarity you don't want money you want freedom to get there you need the mind of an entrepreneur the body of an athlete and the soul of an artist so in addition to this you also can use small hacks for supplementing strategy I like to use quote-unquote nootropics to boost my performance so if you want to know more about my stack then you can comment below but the basics are omega-3 for brain health you want to look at DHA because that's very important for the brain health and perhaps less EPA now creatine is of course for athletic performance but we've seen that it's super good also for your brain health that's very surprising to me magnesium zinc for the nervous system turmeric for inflammation and recovery i would say that's most underrated supplement for an average person that they haven't heard about turmeric so when you build your business focus on the timeless principles this is a very interesting concept when you think about what you actually want to do in life so many just go along the path for instance maybe you're in a good job maybe you're not in a good job but the idea is think from from this concept of mimetic theory it's this legendary philosopher who talks about how we as people are working in herds so if you want something i also want it if you want a fast car i want a fast car if you want to do crossfit i also want to do crossfit you really need to zoom out and start asking these big questions for instance why would you buy a new car is it just to impress other people or, or whatever because the more you can do this the better you can actually start thinking about making the moves that actually matter so when you build a business it's of course important to be authentic and profitable now if you're following the herd it's pretty hard for you to be authentic next you want to think about like why is your product 10 times better versus competitors if you can't be better especially as a solopreneur many get stuck that they don't get anywhere that's why you, you need to be five times better 
and five times different. That's a good compromise to think from. Launch fast, a prototype and MVP. We did this with our game. I've also done this in the Finnish market online coaching i got very fast a lot of clients thanks to it being a very small market a niche market you want to focus on a niche market not the broad market or on this channel we focus on business and sports that's the intersection and it becomes a niche market so then as you start to know your customers think about the network effect so this means basically the better the customer experience becomes when more people join like in the 8020 community now you want to have a strong brand and most people think that a brand is just some random concept but it's actually about writing down on a piece of paper like what are the rules how you actually produce your stuff then the 80 20 wealth map really focus on the 20 percent that get you 80 percent of results so you don't want to just post on random for instance if you want to start creating social media for your product i think that's the best way of getting traction these days you don't want to do seos or sponsored or whatever it's about doing content and about showing up so don't go on all platforms go on one platform stay consistent then you make your plan like what's your current level like what's your job your income where do you see yourself in three months and if you get to seven thousand dollars what's your next move because it's totally possible to do then your skill stack of course like you have all these tools but you have to have like specific knowledge so for me that's public speaking and finance and sports so once you really have these skills if you are in the top one percent it's super hard it will take you 20 years to get there but if you combine them it might take you like one year and six months when you go 80 percent in two areas you become very niche and expert and that's why you're watching this channel because you want to take part of the digital renaissance so then you can find the intersectional skills that boost your pay start posting on for instance like i do on youtube and x now then you have your monthly goals you break it down you start to produce and hopefully also start getting like those athletic goals as well as personal goals and start landing some clients and of course if you don't you have to review your daily habits if you write down your goals you set daily trackable goals i'd be absolutely baffled if you wouldn't get any results you want to make sure that the intersection is between your passion and market profitability so many people say that chase your passion i think that's a huge mistake what if you're like some painter of some random art like it can be very hard to do that but if you combine it with something else like business and art then you have a very good way of producing something that looks very unique and embrace the lindy effect you want to think about what things have been around for the last 1000 years they will also likely be around the next 1000 years. So for instance, if you're sitting in a chair, it's quite obvious it will probably be there. So these are timeless things. And then you use AI as a tool, not as a threat. You can very quickly find out ideas on how you could take them further thanks to AI. Like you can say all of things about how hard the world is thanks to all of these things. They're moving fast forward, but it's not a problem if you leverage them. Start to make change right now so that way you then focus on a person understand their desires like they probably want security a great physique etc then you want to focus on what is the current market sophistication how smart is the market what is actually out there how can you set yourself apart so that's it position yourself authentically gain reach through strategic actions and then you develop a compelling offer and for yourself in your sports endeavors a crazy goal and a reachable goal now to do this you want to start now so make sure you sign up to the seven day course where you get seven elite habits which took me 16 years to learn build a mind of an entrepreneur the body of an athlete and soul of an artist it's time to leverage the age of ai and let's make this something great if you have any questions you know where to comment and if you want to see how far i've already gotten on my journey starting an old horse table watch this video or my athletic endeavors on the muscle world record watch this video <music>